witch whimpering whelp dares to summon a demon prince of the underworld. <laughs> Oh, relax. I'm just being silly. You should have seen the look on your face. You were so scared. It was only a little joke. Hello there, darling. What's your name? Hmm. Humans always have such strange names. No offense, of course. I wouldn't tell you my true name, but I don't think your vocal cords are quite flexible enough to produce it without any tearing. You may call me male. It's a rough approximation. Oh, it is so good to be back in the mortal fold again. All of these heady, earthly scents and aromas. We simply don't have anything like this in the underworld. Down there, it's all brimstone all the time. It gets old after a while. Especially when you're immortal. Anyway, let's get down to business. I assume you knew what you were getting into when you performed the ritual to summon an incubus? <laughs> oh, don't flatter yourself, darling. No one really knows what they're getting into when they call upon one of my kind for the first time. They think of us in their mind immediately goes to pulp romance novels and salacious cartoons. And they picture some strong crimson-skinned man with stubby horns and a pointy tail in black lingerie. And sure, that's not so far off appearance-wise, but my looks are only the tip of the iceberg. You have no idea what you're really in for. Oh, I can see that you're getting frightened again. I can sense that cold trepidation radiating off of you. The mortal emotion of fear is something of a delicacy. For my kind. I hope you won't mind if I bite off a little taste here and there. After all, I'm about to give you the most indescribably pleasurable experience you'll ever have. So it would be very kind of you to offer me a little reciprocation, wouldn't it? <laughs> An incubus is the soul of pleasure. We are the sons of Lord Asmodeus, the Prince of Lust. Each of us are born from the essence of raw passion and carnality itself. Each of us is a perfect sensual instrument, capable of inflicting the most vicious pain and inspiring the most visceral pleasure. And as for myself, well, I don't mean to brag, but I'm one of Daddy's favorites. So go ahead, Master. Pick your poison. Your wish is my command tonight. And unlike a genie, I give a lot more than three. If you know what I mean. <laughs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Oh my. All you humans rush head first into black magic to summon us, and then you get all nervous as soon as you get what you asked for. No worries, though. I'm good at dealing with flustered mortals. Let me guide you. Go ahead and take those off. You don't wish to take them off? No. Oh. Would you prefer that I tear them off of you, sweetheart? <laughs> My pleasure. But I'm afraid I can't promise I would leave any marks. Mm -hmm. 
You don't want me to take them off? Okay. Well, we can do this however you'd like. But we'll obviously have a hard time with certain parts, unless you at least... What did you say? Cuddle? You just want to cuddle? You're kidding. You don't want to do anything else. You don't want to have with me? You don't want to do any BDS. You don't want me to squeeze lemon juice into your eyes and hit you in the crotch with a croquet mallet while I sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow or some other equally debauched fantasy? You're telling me that you really invoked the black arts and reached down into the lightless pits of hell to summon an unconscionably beautiful being of pure lust into your very own bedroom. Just a cuddle. That's like using a nuclear warhead to boil an egg. Are you... Are you sure you don't even want to do some light torture first? I... No, I mean... I'm... <sighs> okay, sorry. I'm not trying to make you feel embarrassed. It's just... This has never happened to me before. I mean, believe me, I've fielded every sort of obscene request you could possibly imagine, and a dozen on top of that. There are a lot of twisted little perverts crawling all over this strange world of yours. Not sure if you've noticed. But no one has ever summoned me just to hold each other for a bit. You... You had a bad day. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Truly, I don't like it when humans are sad. Unlike fear, sorrow tastes horrible. At least to incubi. And honestly, it makes me feel a bit bad for you all. But I'm not really... Wait, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel self-conscious. I get it. I sometimes have bad days, too. I live in hell, after all. That's not always pleasant. <laughs> I have days when I feel down, too. In fact, I've lived so long, I sometimes have bad decades. So, I get it. I really do. I guess, perhaps it's not so strange... I mean, you summoned an incubus to give you what you desire the most, and what you desire the most right now is to be cuddled, and I've never been one to argue with desire. Yes, I'll give it a try. Where do you want to start? You'd prefer if I took charge? No problem. I prefer that, actually. Okay, here. Get in bed. I'll join you. There you go. Nice and comfy with the covers over us. <laughs> Your room is all warm and toasty. I like it. Let me put my arms around you. Snuggle in close. Ooh. Your body's warm, too. I'll just bring my fingers up to stroke your hair. Don't mind the claws. I promise, I won't scratch you. My other hand can slide up your back and rub it a little. Does that feel good? <laughs> good. I want it to feel great. Mmm... -hmm. Bring your face a little closer. Look into my eyes. They say an incubus's eyes are usually his most attractive feature. Did you know that? Look up at me. Don't be shy. 
Your eyes are very pretty, too. It's okay that they're a little wet. I don't mind. Emotion is the most beautiful power you humans have. Never be ashamed of it. While you're here in my arms, would you like to talk about what happened? I can be quite the conversationalist, I'll have you know. Though I don't always get the opportunity to show off that aspect of myself. And I can also just listen, if you'd prefer. No, no. Of course, that's alright. If you're not already now, we don't have to. Or we can revisit it later. How about this? Can you talk to me about how you feel? Are you comfortable with that? You feel sad and down, huh? Hmm... I can feel it too. I can sense it. But sometimes it helps to say it out loud. I want you to know something. You're safe here. You're loved. Whatever happened, however you feel, you're here in my arms now. And nothing else in the world matters outside of that if you don't want it to. <laughs> Mm, snuggling closer. Mm, your hair is soft. <laughs> mm, yes. That's it. Nuzzle into me. Our noses are almost touching. <laughs> you know, I actually appreciate that you're willing to be soft with me. So many humans are so threatened by me that they put on all this false bravado and bluster, which, of course, I'm obliged to indulge. But you're not afraid to just wear your heart on your sleeve. And that's very brave of you. It is. I mean it. I just gave you a genuine compliment. However much that's worth from a demon. <laughs> You seem very sweet. I'm sorry things have been rough for you lately. I wish I could help, but there's only so much even a guy with my power can do. But I do hope that being here to hold you, to cuddle you, I'm helping at least a little. Am I? Do you feel a little better? That's great. That makes me so happy to hear. I suppose even a demon prince of hell likes to feel wanted, huh? Oh, thank you. You're wanted too. <laughs> I want you. I want you to feel secure and safe and perfectly cared for in my arms. Say, would you like to try one other thing? Would you like to kiss me? It's alright if you don't. It's entirely up to you. I'd like to as well. Here. Lean in. Close your eyes. And... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Did you like the taste? My lips can taste like whatever I want them to. But I thought you might enjoy cherry. Here, let me give you another taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your little laugh is so cute. Oh my, I left a bit on your lips. Let me brush that off. Can I ask you a question? What are you feeling right now? Contentment? Is that what you'd call it? I ask because it's absolutely delicious. I can feel it soaking out from you. It's almost as tasty as fear. <laughs> yes, it's scrumptious. 
a guy could get used to this. Maybe I should adopt cuddling as one of my main offerings. <laughs> no need to thank me, sweetheart. The pleasure is all mine. And you're very sweet. I love being naughty, don't get me wrong. But don't think I can't appreciate the sweet things, too. Sure. I can stay the night if you'd prefer. We can fall asleep like this. It's up to you. You summoned me. You decide when to banish me. I'd like that, too. Let's do it. Oh, and whenever you do banish me, if you ever have a bad day again, feel free to ring me up. I can be your go-to demonic cuddle buddy. I'll just have to get that added to my business card. <laughs> mm -hmm. Getting sleepy? That's okay. Drift off in my arms. I've got you. I've got you. Yes. That's it. Now rest your eyes. Let your head fall into my chest. And dream sweet dreams for me. Mm. Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo, and not much for me today. I've been unshadow banned on Twitter, so at least you can search up my profile now. Thank you all for listening to another one of my audios. Special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Mystic37, Creek, Vidwan, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Pele, and Lindsay Travers. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do for me. It truly does mean the world to me, whether or not you're a patron. If you're interested in getting audios early, or maybe even not safe for work extras, be sure to check out my Patreon. If you want to keep updated with me and all the weird stuff that I post, check out my Twitter. Thank you all so, so much for everything that you all do. I've been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.